This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Welcome to our show. We are so happy to have you here today. Wine Down Wednesday. It's Wine Down Wednesday. Got a sparkling rosé here from Bonfi Wines. Musky. Now, here's what I love. Ooh. Yes. Have you ever done one of these? No, all... but I need one of those in my life. Yeah, so Moscow is their champagne saver. Because, you mm. know, a lot of times you want some bubbles. I mean, I'm speaking from experience. Let's For just daily, be honest. Sometimes daily. you want to open the bubbles, but you just can't get the whole bottle. The whole night. So Bubbles you save it. during the day are okay. Yeah. Right? Cheers. We'll talk about this yes. and all the wines that Bumfy is doing for the Preds. Because they've got a whole list of goals. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's a good mm. time. Okay, right. you're going to love this guy. We've got Devin Gilfian. Did I say it right? Close enough. Close enough. Almost. Like, almost. Says almost. <laughs> I'm trying. Gilfian. Is that right? You got, got it. it. You there got it. it is. Devin. Devin. He's just Devin. He's After two breath. glasses, we're gonna get it right. It just Knocks takes it one more glass. He's like these them. people. I'm telling you, he has an amazing sound though, and we heard him warming up. We are so fired up because he's a part of Pilgrimage Festival. It's happening this weekend. We're gonna tell you when he's playing, where you can find him, and share details on new music. We also have some indie pop going on here at Today in Nashville. Andrews is here, released a new single. We get to hear it today. Hey guys. Plus, we're gonna share details on where you can see him perform in Nashville. Really cool vibe. It's gonna be great. And I mean, listen, we love these guys so much. Sister Hazel. Hi. Yes. Oh, I love it. They're performing for us. New music to share. You don't want to miss it. What a music heavy show. It makes I me know. happy. I know. My heart gets real happy when there's music. music. City. Mm -hmm. All right, road trip, folks. Let's do it. No one does fall better than Dollywood. I mean, seriously. Oh. Hello. It is pumpkin magic. Dollywood is amazing. We've got highlights of what's in store this year because it is bigger and better. Their whole I'm harvest so festival up. is really incredible. I haven't been. It's been a minute, and I, I'm i kind of glad that I waited. I'm glad that I didn't go during the summer because I want to go during the fall. No, this is the time of year that this I, is the time. I, I load them up. Ellen's we here. Go. We're going to find out more. Plus, Pilgrimage Festival. We told you about it. Well, guess what? We're talking about the food. Chef Levon is here. He's cooking with us, telling us about the menu for the event. I mean, there's going to be great food and great music, and it's all happening, and you get to go home and go in your own bed at, like, 9 o'clock. Which is incredible. Which is I mean, amazing. Pilgrimage is just the best festival because it has everything we love in this city. Great music, great food. And, and wrap then it up we, early. Yeah, that's right. Yes. And then we can go to sleep. Oh, my gosh. So many exciting things to share about it. Okay, so you see the details right there. The park at Harlan Sale Farm, it's this weekend. You can get tickets. And, guys, the VIP Village Passes are still available. Yeah. It There's a few of them still stuff. available. And, guys, it's incredible. Faster entry into the festival, access to the best stage front viewing areas. So they have viewing areas that are exclusive. Tell them the next part. Tell them the next part. Open bar. Open bar. Yes. <laughs> What, and a two-day parking pass oh, if you have your designated driver. Right there. That's <laughs> worth it. I love that. For more details on the VIP passes and the festival in general, go over to pilgrimagefestival.com. The event's Saturday and Sunday. Park at Harlan's Dale right there in Franklin. It's going to be a good time. Don't forget kids 10 and under free. get in free with your paid ticket, which yes. is so fun. That's that's know. kind of perfect. Okay, how cool was this? This happened yesterday. Oh. Blake Shelton, he was at his old red restaurant. Obviously, that was the place to be yesterday. Look at that. He brought Gwen. Gwen was there. Blake and Gwen. This was just a shot just taken by a fan yeah. as they were greeting folks there. And then impromptu performance. Yeah, he just hopped up on stage. Gets, now, on, gets up there, you know, which is perfect. He should have done that. I love it. It's so great. So here's what was going on. Upstairs, we were celebrating two of his number one hit songs. So they were having a party, industry party, and it was for every time I hear that song and I'll name the dogs. So he's upstairs on the third floor. Mm -hmm. And then downstairs on the rooftop? first floor. No, rooftop not on the rooftop. There's, the... there's a private event space oh, that you can right. rent yes, out. Yes, yes, there. Okay. okay. So that's where we were. We were hanging out, and then I had to leave early. So I'm like, this great event. Congrats on the two number ones. And I leave, and I'm walking out. Am and I allowed I'm... to say why you had to leave early? Is that no, top secret? No, I think we have to hold that for a minute. Yeah, there was something else I had to go do. But... Something good. So I was leaving early, and as I, and I'm walking out, there's a guy on the stage, and he's playing Blake's song. And I'm like, dude, if you only knew, he's two floors above you. 
and then he came down and played. So that was really, really cool. He's opening more Old Red locations, by the way. I love this. Yeah, there's going to be one in Gatlinburg, and that's happening next year. And right. then the fourth one is in Orlando. That's happening in 2020. All right. Good stuff. Old Red all you over the place. Getting around. All over. Did you see Jessica Simpson's pregnant? You know what? Okay. I said I it yesterday. I feel pretty good about myself for yeah. not knowing that information. Because, honestly, usually I would, so I, I feel okay. I screamed, oh, Jessica Simpson's pregnant, and you said, so, how so do you ridiculous. know? And I'm like, I follow her on Instagram. Oh my yeah, gosh. that's where she oh, announced it. She Isn't did the that gender reveal. Precious. Look oh, at this. pretty. Third child, her kids released pink balloons to show that it was a girl. She looks happy. Well, she doesn't look very happy. I think that that is, that's the most she could muster at this point. You know what? <laughs> like, I here get we that. go again. I get that. As a mother of three, I guess she doesn't even know. She has no idea, but she says she's very excited. Of so, course. Yes. That's so great. <laughs> she had to post a happier picture, right? She could have been smiling. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's how they do it in Hollywood. They just you look You know what? Severe. It's a different vibe. It's, it's a, a different vibe. It's a different vibe. Yeah. Hey, she's cheers to her. We're going to drink because she can't. Yeah, you know what? Thank God we had a there cheers in this segment. Yeah. America's Got Talent, the finale is tonight. The winner is going home with a million dollars. Now, Ooh. this is a show that the, the Sullivan household has been watching. We love it. So many talented people have been taking the stage, including our own Michael Ketterer. Okay, a few weeks ago, Simon Cal, if you remember, suggested that Garth Brooks should write a song for Michael. Well, our man Garth heard the call. He sent Michael an amazing invitation. Take a listen. We just sold out Notre Dame Stadium. What do you think about coming and playing it there? I feel like you're going to fall out of this. I'm going to fall off of the speaker they have me sitting on right now. You come see us, man. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to suit you up with the band. We're going to put you out in front of 85,000, the sweetest people you've ever played for before. And they're going to be pulling for you, Hoss, like no other. This is going to be good. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know what? He's right about that. A good yeah. audience is a happy audience Haughty, to play for. A happy audience for How sure. How fun! So this was during Garth's Facebook show, and I'm glad that they have a small time delay in between these things, much like other shows. Right, right. So, so the Notre Dame shows on October the 20th. Michael's a finalist on AGT, so watch him tonight and see if he is named the champion. I'm so excited for him. That's pretty cool. Oh, what a great opportunity. Okay. You know what? That's what it's all about. I love it. We need to get serious for a second. Mm. Serious question. Yeah. Favorite dressing for well, your I mean, salad? I mean, listen, in America, it's ranch. It's ranch. It's ranch. That's how it is. And if you're in agreement with that, thank you for the dings. Yes. The Association of Dressings and Sauces says, yes, ranch is king. I think that's 40 totally 40% of Americans totally choose up. ranch. To top, well, anything. Anything. And you know the pizza ranch is a deal. This okay, is what I do Valley with ranch. my. We brought this it This is today. what I do with my pizza too. Like whenever I have any kind of pizza, I will dunk it in ranch. The I've leftover. never done the ranch pizza thing. This oh, will be it's a so great. Thing. No, but do listen, it. Uh, let's give a little backstory and let's say thank you, Steve Hansen, Hansen and his wife. He was a plumber, right, in a small town in Nebraska, and he invents. Hidden Valley Ranch in the 1950s. How about that? Came up with the spices. They bought some land in California. I think Santa Barbara. Like, way to go, I Steve, love by Santa the way. Barbara. That Great was the choice. real oh, investment. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Oh, is it too much? Okay, I no, don't know. that's good. Okay, it's so the first time for me. So anyway, he came up with the spices. <laughs> I know. Gosh. I love this. This is my favorite. Um, And there's no better way than to do it on a bagel bite, right? Mm. I think I just have to throw this whole thing in. It's life-changing. If you don't like ranch and pizza together, something's wrong with you. You're not American. You know what? Right? I'm American. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whole mm -hmm. life changing. You know what it goes really good with? I'm look at my fingers. Sparkling rosé. Sparkling rosé, pizza, and ranch. American Italian. I'm an Italian American. <laughs> this is from Italy. I feel really international right now. That's amazing. This is so ridiculous. Hey, anyway. shout out right now. Shout out. Who shout are we shouting out, out to? To Jason Isbell, who's watching us while he's working out. He watches us every day when he's on the treadmill, and he's like, you guys are insane. Shout out to you, Jason. Gosh. Do another few I minutes hope you're on that treadmill by for your us. Antics. Oh, that's a big one. Because we're eating pizza Okay, go bites. ahead. Tell me. Um, have you started? I can't even say it with a serious face. Have you started shopping for Christmas yet? You know what? Embarrassingly, I have. Have you? Mm -hmm. I mean, some, who are you right now? Well, there were some really good. Right. Pal. I know. I know. It's there fine. were some really good sales. Okay. 
So I have two bins in the basement. Really? Yeah, but I'll tell that. Here's a caveat. I'm impressed. It's for the charitable giving. Okay. Because I can't shop this early for my kids because I have to super They'll hide it. it. They'll find well, it. Well, but I hide it really good. See? And then I forget that I ever bought it. Oh, yeah, I've done so that. So this is very deliberate. It's all these cute stuffed animals that were on sale and they're in totes down the basement. That's and the great. kids see them and I say they're not for you. You've yeah. got enough in your life. Well, a lot of people are <laughs> shopping right now. So get out there and get really? on it. We are getting close, unfortunately. We're not, no, we're not getting close. Just we're not even close. Put it out there. It's happening. Just sure get on the deals. Does. Something really cool that's happening in Middle Tennessee that helps fight against breast cancer. I'm on board with this. This is really great. It's called Fit for the Cure. Here's how it works. You get a complimentary bra fitting. Now, the Walco specialists, I always say that wrong, but I love their bras. Mm -hmm. Let me just say it here. I'm a fan. Waco? Walco. No, you were right. Walco. Sorry, I got a bagel bite in my it's mouth. It's fine. They're going to donate $2 to Susan G. Komen per fitting. They also give $2 for every item bought at the event. So here's the deal. Got a couple chances to do this. Right. All you have to do, first event happens tomorrow at Belk and Cool Springs Galleria. Another event, same store, October the 11th. You can check it out. Or And then the third event's at the Dillard's at Mall at Green Hills, October the 12th. So more details, Komen.org. I gotta be honest, it's always shocking when you go right. in for a fitting because you realize you've been doing it wrong. Doing it wrong, doing the, whole it time. wrong the whole time. They're like, oh, what have you been wearing? Mm, no, completely off the mark. Too much information? Well, Never. No. Have another Not on bite. this show. Thanks. Not on this show. Okay. Another really great event happening in Nashville a company helping domestic violence victims across the country. So it is called Thread Talk, and they make these blankets and give the proceeds to domestic violence shelters. The event here in Nashville is on Saturday, noon to four at West Elm in Hillsborough Pike. You can also learn more about the company and buy the beautiful blankets. Oh, they're incredible. Love items for our cause. Threadtalk.com. Now that That's is a Christmas a great item. Christmas what a present. beautiful blanket. And great to be supporting present. such great causes that really champion things for our community. I love it. That, yes, get out there and do that. Now